Do you know about hot market printing? Hot market printing is when you print 10,000 shirts on demand for a big client like the Golden State Warriors, and it's one of the hardest ways to run a print shop. We talked to Jeremy Castro at Brand Marinade about how he handles it in the latest Print Hustler podcast. Check it out. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining me. I'm Luke from Printavo, and today we are going to discuss the next piece of equipment you should buy. So in our last newsletter, I pointed out that a really weird recession is probably happening. It means that you should really reconsider any equipment purchases that you're going to make, but particularly equipment purchases that are line extensions. What's a line extension? Well, it's doing something new that's outside of your core competencies. Think new Coke. In a recessionary environment, businesses are always looking to cut costs. And as the economic podcast Odd Lots has pointed out time and time again, the deep 10-year-long recession after the great financial crisis led to a huge amount of disinvestment in industries across the U.S. from lumber, ports, shipping containers, railways, pallets and packaging, energy, semiconductors, housing, copper. And the list literally goes on and on. And it's a little bit perverse, isn't it? Businesses stop investing in their business in order to stay in business. This doesn't seem optimal, right, in the long term. But the desire to cut costs in the short term is very real, and the far-off problems caused by disinvestment are far off. Until something like last year happens, then there's opportunities everywhere. There's more demand than can be met, and everyone realizes they're missing out because they didn't extend or expand capacity and invest in equipment at the right time. So avoid that. There is one piece of equipment we think every print shop should consider investing in if they don't already have it. And it is, drumroll please, automating their screen room. Computer to screen, laser to screen, direct to screen, however you can do it, you gotta get there. Buy this next. So if you run the economy hot, companies have to invest to keep up with hot demand. If you run the economy hot and the global economy is disrupted and supply chains are snarled, and shipping costs go through the roof, well, you absolutely have to invest in onshore facilities. And we've seen this. Companies like Bell & Canvas saw the writing on the wall here years ago, right? They've got profound investments in U.S. facilities for cutting and dyeing fabric. But that's just one example. The trend is really clear here. Uh, thousands of print shops have also invested in their equipment, software, supplies at the same time. I'm very confident there's a case for investing in some game-changing equipment, even going into a recession. Yes, even going into a recession. But you kind of need a simple flow chart to understand like what you should really do next. All right, so here's our overly simple flow chart. You start, do you have an automatic press? If you do, you should buy a CTS or DTS machine next. But if you don't, you probably need the automatic press. The point of this flow chart is really simple. There's a piece of equipment you can invest in that will get you to the next level if you're not already there. But note our caveat. This is for a screen printing shop between, let's say, 250000 and $3 million in revenue. And you're looking to grow over the next decade. You're not happy where you are. You want to keep going. What's the big deal? What makes computer to screen, direct to screen so great? I'm going to dive right in. Computer to screen systems eliminate or reduce a huge number of common problems in the screen room. These are like pinholes because of glass and the exposure table, poor detail and resolution in your films, just poorly printed films, bad registration problems. These are big, big issues. And the boost in efficiency is so high. I talked to Joe Zangrilli from Robo Creative around the time they got a CTS machine a couple of years ago, and he explained it like this. What used to be a nightmare is now just like, oh, give me 15 minutes, I'll be back with a new screen. So that's a huge change in how they operated. Let's think about the primary benefits. What are they really? So first, much faster imaging. And of course, a higher production capacity because of that. You get faster setups on the press. You get consistent registration. You get more efficient screen room practices overall. You get lower labor costs. You get higher quality prints. And you get super, super easy digital file storage and retrieval. I am so confident in the ability of these machines to boost your shop that I'll say this. Dollar for dollar, computer to screen systems are among the best investments a screen printing shop can make. So what kind of savings are we really talking about? For a shop that images 40 screens a day and spends about two minutes registering each screen, a CTS machine will save you 13 hours of registration time over a typical month. Now, we believe this represents an opportunity of around 
$20,000 a month because that's time that can be spent on other jobs instead of registration. It literally frees your shop up to print more. Once you get into the bigger numbers, with shops running 100 plus screens a day, the savings become astronomical and kind of absurd. Then we're saving something like 33 hours of time. That's $50,000 of opportunity a month. How did I get these numbers? Am I just pulling them out of my butt? No, uh, I worked with Dowhit and we built a CTS calculator. Some of the assumptions in this spreadsheet seem very conservative and that's because they are. That's what's wild about this spreadsheet. The numbers are probably on the low end. I didn't believe the numbers, but, <laughs> but a lot of shops have really confirmed my suspicion. They say that CTS, DTS, laser to screen systems were the biggest bang for their buck in terms of equipment that they purchased. But like LeVar Burton said, you don't have to take my word for it. We've talked to a bunch of shops that have had success with these systems. Denial Print Company showed us their dark room, their space constrained, and they're gonna eventually get the automatic reclaim machine to go with it. We did a shop tour at Screen Printing Select and they called their laser to screen system a work of art. Lon Winters from Graphic Elephants, maybe you've heard of him, maybe you haven't. If you haven't, go check him out right now. He calls CTS the hidden gem for print shops and the prints he makes are some of the best in the world. Marathon Sportswear near Chicago uses two CTS machines because they kind of figured out like, what if one goes down? Those guys specialize in high volume print runs, think 30,000 pieces, so they know what they're doing. If you're just curious about the history of screen printing and high color t-shirts, we did a great interview with John Weiss a couple of years ago about simulated process printing, and it really dives into the history of this and tells you some awesome stories about printing out of the back of a semi truck. But if you're curious about computer to screen systems, you wanna see this for yourself, you wanna do the math and run the numbers for yourself, go ahead. Uh, drop the link to the spreadsheet right below. would love to get your feedback on it. And if you're one of the shops that already has CTS, I'd love to hear from you. How has it, how's it changed the game? If it hasn't changed the game, I'd really like to hear from you. If you're someone of the rare people who thinks this is a bad investment, let's hear it. Let us know. So here's the bottom line. Equipment is not cheap and everybody's trying to sell you something. Dropping $50,000 on a machine that you're not familiar with probably feels really risky. But we are certain that one of the safest bets in screen printing is doubling down on your screens. If you want to make more money, if you wanna print faster, if you wanna print more, then you need to learn to make and clean screens faster and free up that production time. If you wanna lose less money, and think of it this way, most of the ways that shops lose money involve their screens, if you really do a root cause analysis misprints, problems, so many things come back to screens. So I really want to hear your thoughts. Did I get this right? Is computer to screen the future? Am I 10 years behind? Do I not know what I'm talking about? I really want to hear it. And until next time, I'm Luke. This is The Weekly. We'll see you around.